Question. The right people. Right Say that again. People. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, Islam is a clear. Uh, you know, you know, as a Muslims. I'm sorry for because you were about to leave. But I just yeah, explain yeah. to you Go in on. general. Yeah, yeah. You know, when we look at this creation, <laughs> at our own creation, we can see clearly that there is a creator. You understand? Yeah. Because either this creation was created by nothing, or was created by a creator. I mean, nothing is not even a thing, let alone to create something. You with me? Yeah. Okay. So the fact that we know this creation it does exist, therefore, and it came to existence, therefore, logic dictates, must have a creator. Now, when you look upon the creation, just on ourselves, and I always mention this example. The example I always mention, we have our eyebrows above our eyes. Why? Because the sweat that we have, it contains a salt. If it keeps going to our eye, will blind us, okay? So the eyebrows to protect it, okay? We have a nose next to our mouth. Why? Because before you eat, you smell food. You have a teeth in your mouth because you chew with your mouth, okay? You, the liquid that you have in your ears is different than the liquid that you have in your eyes. The liquid that you have in your ears is thick. Why? Instead, in case something goes inside, you block it, you know? So that indicates we've been created in, we've been organized, we've been designed and that indicates we must have a designer you know likewise we have, likewise we have a joint in our elbows in order for us to give take shake you know so you can see in our own selves the the creator must be wise you agree with me so far okay likewise the creator we can see the mercy of the creator which is the rain and other things you know likewise we can see the anger that the creator possesses, the attributes of anger that the same mercy which is the rain, it can turn it to destruction, okay? So if this is the case, without any doubt, it is the case. Therefore, now we must have a purpose. Every part of our body has a purpose. Your eyes has a purpose. Your nose has a purpose. Your leg has a purpose. What about us as, what about us as a whole? You with me so far? Okay, so what we say based upon the Creator's wisdom, before that, we cannot come to conclusion what is our purpose in this life based upon our intellects or our feelings. Why? Because we have different feelings, different intellects. I mean, we can say, yeah, I'm here to worship my creator or to be grateful to the creator, okay? However, you need a detailed guideline. So now it is clear when the creators, and, and again, let me make it something more clearer. Imagine I make a phone. Imagine I'm the first person to make a phone. Out of scratch, okay? Out of scratch, I made it. No one has made a phone before me. If you want to know about the purpose of the phone, who you go back to? You come to me, because I'm the maker, I'm the creator. Likewise, logically speaking, we go back to the creator. That's why based upon the creator's wisdom and justice and mercy, he chose people amongst us, from our kind, to show us about our purpose in this life. What we're here for, how we got here, where we're going to go. Again, but remember, there is some people claim there are some people are going to be uh, going to claim to be the the the, the 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 messengers of the Creator, but they are liars. So now, if it's clear, now how can we differentiate between who is the the message, who is the true messenger of the Creator, who is not? You with me? Now, so far, now remember, these prophets and messengers are claiming to be the messengers of the Most High, the one that created this tremendous universe. So. Doesn't make any sense. Someone say, I'm a prophet of God. Okay, what is the proof? Just believe me. No, they have to come with the solid proofs. Proofs that everyone can observe and think, you know what? That's a powerful proof. One of the characteristics of the create uh, of the, the prophets and the messengers, they were known amongst their nations to be trustworthy, truthful, and honest. All right? Trustworthy, truthful, and honest. Do you know about Moses, Jesus? Are you familiar with this? Okay, so there were prophets and messengers before that, like Jesus, Moses, Abraham. I believe in them, but what I'm going to do, if I establish Prophet Muhammad to be the last prophet with the logical proofs, and with the tangible proofs, logically speaking, we should believe what he came with, okay? Hashem, oh, Alright, Steve. Alright, come inside, brother. Sorry about that. Hold on, two minutes, yeah. Yeah, go after, yeah, yeah. Go just, after just, two. yeah, just two minutes and yeah. sorry about that. Fine. Yeah, yeah. Because it's very important, you know. Yeah, I, know I, I mean, know. you never knew you're going to be asked again. He tried, he just yeah, yeah. tried, yeah, yeah. didn't he? Yeah, yeah. And he, yeah. yeah. See, Alhamdulillah, yeah. from God's blessing, yeah. we met today. Yeah. So what I will say to you, they were known to be trustworthy, truthful, honest. Likewise, they will come with the prophecies about the future. 
because no one knows the future in detail except the creator. Like me, before I make a phone, I have to possess the knowledge how to make a phone in order for me to make the phone. Now, the prophet... Uh, yeah. Yes, listen to me. If, <laughs> okay, I want to go step by step to make sure everything's clear so far. What, so, Prophet Muhammad, okay, alayhi salatu salam, one of the prophecies that, many prophecies he said, because I want to show you that we, when we believe in Islam, we don't believe Islam is the truth. Because, you know, one day I was sleeping, Prophet Muhammad came to my dream, he said, Islam is the truth, so I'm a Muslim. Or I was walking down the alleyway. No, I believe Islam is the truth because I have universal proof. Oh, brother, is it medal? <laughs> is it medal or something? Anyway, so I'll give you some prophecies that Prophet Muhammad mentioned, yeah? Prophet Muhammad, alayhi salatu lived 1,400 years ago in the middle of nowhere, Mecca. Place called Mecca in the middle of the Arab Peninsula. He mentioned about one of the prophecies that I like always use it. Why? Because it's powerful. He said, It's gonna come a time when a person will make up a lie. You make up a lie, yeah? In the morning, in the same morning, his lies will reach far east, far west. What we have to understand, when the Prophet Muhammad mentioned that back in those days, in order for me to travel from here to Cardiff, it will take me three days. Let alone for my lie to spread far east, far west in the same day. Now what you can do, make up a lie, put it on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Mauritius, China, Morocco, Algeria, any country in the world. A person step, should step back, think, hold a minute, how the person that lived 1,400 years ago, when there is no any indication amongst any nations previously or during his lifetime to indicate that will occur. How he knew that? Because that same man who said that, he claimed also to be sent by the Most High. Okay? Likewise, another prophecy. Prophet Muhammad mentioned, there will come a time when the, Arab, the Arabs, the Arabs are known in the, back in those days to use a camus for the, as a riding beast. He said they will stop using a camus as a riding beast. And in another narration, he said they will use something as a box that will carry them from their houses to the mosque. Now go to Kuwait, Qatar, Dubai. They don't use camels like before. They use what? Cars. Again, how he knew that? Why well, you have to understand that? Again, because when, when God sent the prophets and messengers, he gave them something solid. You know the holy book of the Muslims? The Quran. Yeah, the Quran, the holy book. The Quran. In that book, Allah mentioned, which Prophet Muhammad conveyed, yeah? He said, this book will be protected. Will be protected. Now, this, this book made a claim. Us in the 21st century, can we verify that claim? Yeah, we can easily verify that claim. Now, we, if all of us, the Jews and the Muslims, the Christians, all of us, we say, you know what? Let us burn our scriptures. Let us throw our scriptures in the sea. The only scripture that we can bring back into, into the written form is the Quran. You know why? Because we have millions of Muslims, children of Muslims, memorize the Quran, word for word, the letter for letter. And also, Allah mentioned that 1,400 years ago, Allah said, وَلَقَدْ يَسَّنَّ الْقُرْآنَ لِذِكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرِ We have made Quran easy to be memorized. That's another claim. That Prophet Muhammad, he was in the middle of the desert, he's, he's reciting this verse to his people, that this book, many people memorize it. Can we verify this claim? Yes. In Britain, Africa, Asia, South America, Muslims memorize the Quran word for word, letter for letter. So that give us a clear indication this man must be prophet of God. Because the proof, the proof, the proof that he came with is so powerful. Another proof, sister. He mentioned the Quran that Islam will overpower the other religions. And we know the fastest growing religion on the face of the earth is Islam. Even though the Muslims are weak, Muslim countries are weak, who is doing the job is the most high. You understand? Yeah. Likewise, Prophet Muhammad said, I'm gonna show you the overwhelming proofs why this man must be prophet of God. He said there will come a time when if you are not involved directly in interest, you will be affected by it. Did you know that when you go buy stuff from Tesco or Sainsbury's, you, pay, you are paying interest. You pay, even though as a Muslim, interest is haram, but you cannot escape it. If you wanna study, interest. If you wanna have your own business, interest. How many that lived 1,400 years ago prophesizing that? It's so powerful. Also, we have to understand, sister, that all of us here, we are here for temporary. As I said, they said this life is, is a life of Abur. They said, they said, is a life of to go past 
by, not stay here forever. How many people won't sleep, they never wake up? How many people who left their houses, they say, you know, I'm coming back, mommy. I'm coming back, daddy. They couldn't make it back. That's what Allah mentioned in the Quran, that all mankind, those who reject me, those who reject my prophet, surely death will meet you and you will return to your creator. You know, so that's why we believe as a Muslims, Allah will not punish anyone until the proof become clear to them. Okay, sister, let me ask you this question. Imagine you are in a house, may Allah forbid, you're in a house, and there's a fire inside the house. You are surrounded with the fire. You try your best to get out of it, but you gave up. You gave up. I came and I saved your life. What would you say to me at least? Thank you. I saved your life. You know, so did you. I saved you. Would you remember me all the time? Would you remember me all the time? Of course. Okay. So why are, not, why are you not grateful to the one who gave you life for free and remember him? But you know, naturally, now, now you know. Now, yeah. Yes. Naturally, you know, in you, all of us here, that if someone do something good to me, I would say, I would say thank you. Yeah. If someone saved my life, say thank you. Like even you, I, even I mentioned this example. Imagine I give you two million pounds as a gift. I say, you know, we've been having a nice discussion. I'm a trillionaire. Here, two million pounds as a gift. You know, what would you say to me at least? Thank you. Two million pounds? Well, you know what I'm saying? You will remember me all the time as well. Two million pounds, you have a nice house. Oh, brother, show me from speaker's corner. Okay, I will give you two million pounds on the condition, give me your two eyes. No, go. Why? Because your eyes are so valuable than anything. But who gave us eyes is the creator. That's why, the, what is Islam based upon? The two pillars. Firstly, you should be grateful and worship the creator. The second one, how should we worship him? The question I want to ask you, if you want to buy a gift for your mother, would you buy a gift that you love or your mother love? Your mother love. Likewise, if you want to worship the creator, we should worship him the way he loves, not the way we love. Why? Because the way he loves is objective. The way we love is subjective. That's why based upon his wisdom and his mercy, he sent the prophets and messengers to every nation. Now the last prophet is Muhammad, who came with the teaching, worship God alone, and this life is a test. So prepare yourself for the day of resurrection, because you'll be responsible and accountable for your deeds. What I said so far, does it make sense? Yeah, definitely. Is it clear to you? Yeah. If I ask you, what, if, I, if it makes sense, is it clear to you? Of course, sometimes you need more time to study everything without any doubt. But I always want to say to people, if the foundation is clear and it makes sense, and you should, you know what? Yeah, it makes sense. These prophets of God, Prophet Muhammad must be prophets of God. Prophecies and miracles, you know, even his teaching, his legislation he came with. Then why don't you accept Islam before you leave this place? If it makes sense to you, I want to say to you, if it makes sense to you, is it clear to you? Because if the foundation is clear, as for the branches, then you learn step by step. Yeah. You understand? Like now, if I want to buy a car and I want to learn how to drive, I don't learn outside the car. You have to go inside the car and you start learning. You with me? Yeah. 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 So if it makes sense to you, is it clear to you? And you believe, you know what? That is the truth. I should, be, I should worship my creator. How many years you have been cut off from worshiping your creator? That's our purpose here. You know? I mean, if I, if I saved your life, you're not going to tell me, Shamsi, you know what? I want to thank you, but give me some time to thank you. No, yeah. you thank me directly. What about the one who gave you life? The one who created you? Allah said, Ya nas, rabbakum, khalaqakum min qablikum. All mankind, Muslims and non-Muslims, worship your Lord. Who is your Lord? Who created you and created those who came before you. And Allah mentioned the Quran, all mankind, prepare yourself for the day of resurrection. God is the most just. God is not going to make equal those who disbelieve in him with those who believe in him. Those who believed in him, out of his mercy, create paradise for them. And those who reject him, they create their hellfire. fire. So I would say, if it makes sense, it's clear to you, the two pillars that Islam, when someone becomes Muslim, you don't have to fly, is that I bear witness there is no one worthy of worship except Allah, the creator of the universe, and I bear witness Muhammad, the messenger of Allah. Then you have brother here who's already Muslim, you learn step by step. Alhamdulillah. You know? Yeah. Okay. I didn't so, have that in time, so no problem. So if you wanna, if you, yeah, you wanna more time, yeah. then no problem at all. Try to learn more. Yeah. Yeah, learn more, inshallah. But what we say to you, remember, there's nothing guaranteeing this stuff except what? Yeah. Except death. Yeah. You know, because one of the, the weapon of Satan always say tomorrow, tomorrow. By the time you know it, you're dead. 
If it's clear to you, then it's up to you. I'll give you the open invitation to accept Islam or whatever you want to do. All right. So if you want to read more about it, yeah. then you, ha you know, you have my number. Yeah, and contact me. Yeah, yeah, no. You have my number. Yeah, yeah, got it. You know, must, uh, send me a message later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Take care. Thank you. Thank you for stopping. Give me your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Baba. Assalamu alaikum. Take care, yeah? See you there. Thanks, sir. Yeah.